Hello everyone, today we're going to be learning about Le Chatelier's principle using a specific example. So we have nitrogen gas reacting with hydrogen gas in equilibrium with ammonia gas. So we have a sealed container holds an equilibrium mixture of the system represented above. So this system. Now the question is asking what can be done to increase the production of ammonia. So we want to increase this production. So looking at the first one, first one of the options here, it says to increase nitrogen gas. So by increasing this one, we're going to put an arrow pointing up. So if we increase this, Le Chatelier's principle says that we're actually going to shift this reaction to the left side. So that's going to shift the reaction to the left side by increasing nit the nitrogen gas production. So well, that's not what we want to do because we actually want to make have more of this at equilibrium so a is not correct now b says decrease hydrogen gas so by decreasing hydrogen gas what we're saying is that we're decreasing it so we put an arrow pointing down so if we decrease this one Le Chatelier's principle says that we're actually going to force this reaction to the left. So whenever we decrease hydrogen, we're actually going to force it back to this side to make up for the loss of the, the hydrogen gas. So that's also going to lift send the reaction to the left side. And that's not what we want. Now, option C says increase pressure. So by increasing the pressure, what's gonna happen? Well, if we increase pressure, what we wanna do here is first count the number of gas molecules based on the balance equation. Here there's a one, here there's a three. So we have four gas, four gas molecules. We could say that just to simplify things. On this side, we have a, we have a coefficient of two. So we could say that we have two gas molecules on this side. So now back to the question, it says increase pressure. So by increasing the pressure, what are we going to do? Well, what's going to happen is that when you increase the pressure, you're going to shift the reaction to the side that has the smaller number of gas molecules. So that's the right side. So we're actually going to shift the reaction to the right side. Well, the right side is where we have the production of the ammonia gas. So that means that by increasing the pressure, we're actually shifting the reaction to the right side, which is what we want, which is consistent with what the question is asking. Increasing the production of ammonia occurs when we increase the pressure because by increasing the pressure, the the reaction is going to go to the side with the less number of gas molecules. In this case, there's only two compared to four. So the answer here would be C. And then just to get a complete picture here, if we decrease the pressure, if we decrease the pressure, what happens is that by decreasing the pressure, so decreasing pressure, what happens is that we 
that's going to cause an increase in volume because both are inversely related due to the ideal gas law, which we will talk about in another video. So decreasing the pressure causes an increase in volume. So what's gonna happen here is that by decreasing the pressure, we shift the reaction to the side with the bigger number of gas molecules. So we're gonna shift the reaction to this side, the left side, which it has, which has four gas molecules. So we're gonna shift it to the left. So that's gonna go to the left side if we decrease the pressure. We don't want that. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I could keep making more videos. Comment down in the section below. And don't forget to like the video.